Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Dude, look at that. He's what? frozen in suspended animation. But he blinks. And he blinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's, uh, that's an automatic animation thingy. It's beautiful. They set it up so that, uh... They set it up so that way um, they don't have to manually animate the eyes. They just have the eyes do it automatically. But they have to manually animate the rest of him. Ooh. That is James's animation knowledge of the day. Anyways. Try to murder this fucking kid. <laughs> Dude, we were, t we were talking about food last episode, and I went off on a fucking tangent in between mm. episodes. I want some fucking carbonara. That's my favorite dish, by the way. <laughs> Hitting kids is fine. <laughs> okay, anyways. Oh my god. Yeah, no, we're... We, uh, Elliot and I haven't had dinner yet. It's like, what, 8.30? Nine. nine. Almost nine. Yeah, it's almost nine. Yeah, after this episode, we're going to take a dinner break. Yeah, we could order food. We could make food. We'll see after this episode. All right, but anyways. Free the ginger, the mighty ginger. <laughs> La 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 la. Free the goby, the mi That's not a goby. Free <laughs> the dinosaur. I love the voice of the dinosaur, by the way. It's like. <laughs> you think she'd have a cutesy voice? You'd think she'd be like, I don't know, what's her what's her name from DuckTales? What's. DuckTales! Webby? <laughs> Webby, you know, the little girl duck who's like. Mommy, I want this and that and that But I said it's like. <laughs> I will eat your soul. If you weren't also Satan, I would eat your butthole out. Oh my. Grenade. Oh yeah. We're not going to chuffing trainers in which we'll You fucking ungrateful son of a bitch! Get out of that cage! <laughs> yeah. James. Yes? Would you like to tell- Oh, she's such a tiny little tail. <laughs> Ooh. Would you like to inform our viewers on- Something about you that they don't know yet? Oh damn! Oh man! Okay. I, I was gonna no. talk to Gobi. Oh. oh, there's there's a pleasant little conversation yeah, like, they have before. What does he say? He says like, "Oh hey guys, how's it been? It's been a long time." Because you wanna free me? And Kazoo's like, "No, <gasps> not really." And then he's like, "Oh, that's no way to treat an old friend who you abused." <laughs> he doesn't say that part, but. Oh, rip. Oh, what's here? I was gonna say, is your... what what's a fact that our audience doesn't know about you that you could share? Uh, hmm. <laughs> you know, Elliot, that's one thing I, I like about you. you. You're very good at asking other people questions. You know that? Here's one fact about... What here's is one... a question that you like that Elliot asks about you? <laughs> <laughs> here, here's a fact about me. I really sure. like the way that Elliot asks, in not just on Royal Goobs, but in, like, real conversations real we have talk. in real life we uh he does a very good job of asking other people uh about themselves because you know a lot of people don't do that they're everybody's there's a lot of people who are so like just about themselves <laughs> focused on themselves that for sure looks like a rabbit doesn't it yeah it does it's like, a satanic it's like i yes, like i'm a rabbit <laughs> i like to eat carrots and i also love Fire. Oh, what would happen if I pulled the fire alarm? <laughs> um. Anyways, but yeah, no, I, I think that's a very good quality to have to make sure you ask other people about themselves. You know. Thanks, cutie. That's how you get. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just because, like, I, I've realized that, like, you know, I'll talk to coworkers, whether it be my current job or old job, and I'll say, like, hey, how was your weekend? How was so and so? And they'll they'll go off and answer me for like five minutes, God. and then they'll never fucking like ask, ask it back you. or anything, um, mm. which which is fine. I just realized like human beings just like to fucking diarrhea mouth about <laughs> themselves. People are pretty self obsessed. Yeah. Oh, wait, didn't I already get the fries? Myself included. I mean, look at me, handsome, <laughs> hot nips, <laughs> full set of teeth. Your nippers are pretty nice. Yeah, they're I'm pretty great. Say. Uh, by the way, when we film Royal Goops, I um, am shirtless and have magnifying glasses on my nips every, every time. <laughs> and you're only for me to see. Ooh. Even Jen doesn't get to see yeah. that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, James. Uh, hey, here's Weird Al. No, it's interesting, though. Yeah, yeah. People, if you ask someone about themselves, here's a pro tip from, from King Cletus, right? Mm -hmm. If you're on a, a first date, right, and you don't know what to talk about, 
If ask you them. Ask them. That's like dating 101. Yeah. And Would just, you agree and just, with that? that? That and just like human being. Friends 101. That's just human being social interaction 101. If, yeah. If you... If you Everybody's in that. Look at that. He has only like one out of one four stars. <laughs> That's probably like a safety rating or something. Um, I never realized that actually. Me neither. Wow. Little tiny details that we don't notice until 17 years later. Um, Easy. So yeah, no, like that's just something that's. If everybody has times when they're talking to people and they have awkward silence, a little silence is okay here and there. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just natural, you know. You don't want to force yourself to be constantly talking no. that's just that's just not good but if that's you, e that's worse than the awkwardness of awkward silence yeah so like a little silence here and there is fine people those of you who aren't as good at socializing don't don't sweat that part as much and just you know try to ask the other people if you're talking to someone just show interest in them yeah that that alone is very important yeah I'm pretty good like one-on-one -on -one with people me too but if it's like a group I am fucking ass I have no really? idea. Really? Yeah. That you're the same way as me, dude. I have no what? fucking clue how to interact with a bunch of people at once. How the what? Yeah. I thought you were. Wow. I just unless learned. I know all of them, or okay. like all of them minus a few, right? But okay. if it's like a bunch of people I don't know very well, um, like coworkers, right? Let's mm -hmm. let's say everyone wants to go out for drinks and there's like ten of us. Mm -hmm. I have no fucking clue what to say, man. Well, it's just overwhelming, you know. I guess so. It I just. Yeah, I totally... One-on-one, like, -on -one, it's very easy for me to... Sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Oh, no, no, no. I was cutting you off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, like, very easy for me to figure out, like, how to pace a conversation, what to say, you know, um, how to <laughs> further the conversation organically. Mm -hmm. But in a group, I'm just like, there's so much shit going on. I'm just like, I have no fucking clue how to deal with this. It's funny, because I remember in high school... um. When we went to, you know, S's house, yeah. there was always large groups of people. And but I, see, I knew all of them. Uh, okay, you always, the way you guys danced around singing, No one like Gaston. No <laughs> like Gaston. I guess that's a funny story. Should I tell it? Um, yeah, sure, why not? So this, this group of people, there are a lot of stories. Maybe you'll hear more about it later, but we'll see. We'll save it for later, yeah, but anyways. But this story... Uh, we we went to our friend S's house and we had a clean at the end of the night, right? We'd stay up all fucking night. There'd mm -hmm. be like 10 to 20 of us every time and we'd make a huge ass fucking mess. His parents were like the nicest people ever for having us over every mm -hmm. fucking Friday and uh, we'd make this huge ass mess. So we'd either put on the Mulan song, I'll Make a Man Out of You <laughs> on loop or the Gaston song. Well, no, no, no. Sorry, we didn't play Gaston when we were cleaning. We'd play Mulan to clean up. So we'd play that. Everyone would, like, form an assembly line and just fucking clean chips off the ground and fucking throw away trash, etc. But the uh, Gaston thing, we'd, like, fucking go crazy. Yeah, dude. We'd, we'd hear that song. We'd all, like, line up and we'd, like, throw the furniture on the ground. We'd, like, <laughs> fucking throw burgers on the wall and shit. Which is why we had to have the Mulan song to counteract that shit. Everyone would just go oh, fucking yeah. nuts. We'd like, oh, I get it. I'll make a man out of you. Like, be responsible. Be a man, you piece of shit. Pick up that burger you threw at the wall. <laughs> you guys threw shit, or I never saw that. Yeah, it was. I just saw you. Quickly. I just saw you guys jumping and dancing in a circle, singing, "No one done like Gaston." No. Yeah, dude. Hey, look, it's Mr. Pants. Mr. Pants. Yeah, you know who that is? Who? I don't mean to go too off topic, but he's he's. I'm he, done with my topic. So. He, oh, okay, take it away. <laughs> he was uh, Lay Love Day created him. I look like a diaper. Yeah, well, like <laughs> that's the thing. He's just this this white uh, stick kind of stick figure character in red underwear, and he was created by Lay Love that's Day, red? I think. Yeah, I mean you can't quite tell because obviously, but <laughs> it's just a constellation. But uh, oh, yeah, I think I you, thought you were saying like yeah, it's red, but you can't see it because you're colorblind. But so um. Oh, should we begin the da You know what, screw it. We'll Go do for it. We'll do dodge him challenge. Oh wait. Oh fuck. Son me. of a bitch. God damn. Mm. Should, we, <sighs> should we just like cut? Next time on Royal Goobs, we will have the money to go into the dodge him challenge. 